Welcome Bearcats back to Jackson Square. Today we're going to be looking at multiplying fractions again using models. Our homework assignment for tonight was Fraction Action 87. In this assignment we're doing it a little bit different. We don't have to draw our models and create them. They're actually given to us and we just have to match them up with the right multiplication expression. So I'm going to show you the way that I do it. You may do it differently or a little um, in a different order but the first thing that I would do is I would go and look at the pictures so I'm just gonna start with a and on yesterday we told you to start with rows and columns so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna start with rows I'm gonna start by counting my rows one two three four five I have five rows so that's gonna be my first fractions denominator and of those five rows one two are shaded so that's two-fifths. My second fraction, it is divided my columns or in two columns. And of my two, one is shaded. So I have two-fifths times one-half. What I do is I go to the right side of my paper and I'm looking for a problem that matches. That has two-fifths times one-half or one-half times two-fifths. And as I scan, I notice that number five is the matching problem. So here, I'm going to write A. So number five matches A. And then I'm going to go ahead and multiply. We know that when we multiply two fractions, we are going to multiply the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator. One times one, one times two, sorry, is two. And two times five is 10. And then we also want to get in the habit of practicing simplification. Any time a fraction can be simplified, we want to go ahead and do that. It's a good practice to have. I can tell that both of these are multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I can evenly divide the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2. 2 goes into 2 one time. 2 will go into 10 five times. And my answer will be 1 fifth. Again, two tenths, if we go back to what we learned on yesterday and look at the shading, how many boxes have both um, shades? These two. One, two, which is my numerator. And if we count the total boxes, I know that it's five on each side. So that would be two tenths, which again matches the um, work that we did with the algorithm. Let's look at another one. How about we look at... number two let's do some backwards work so we're going to look at number two number two says three-fourths times two-thirds again we're going to multiply straight across three times two is six four times three is twelve again i see these are multiples of six i can divide the numerator by six and the denominator by six and i will get one half as my simplified answer. So 6 twelfths, I'm looking for a picture that has um, 3 fourths and 2 thirds shaded. So 3 fourths and 2 sh um, three fourths and two thirds. I think that on this paper they're doing columns and rows. So I'm looking for a column of 4 and 3 shaded. This looks like a column of 4, 3 shaded. That's more than 4. This is a column of 4, 1 shaded. This is a column of four with three shaded. So it could possibly be D, it could possibly be E. This is a column of four with three shaded. All right, those are my options for a column of four with three shaded. So I'm looking for a column of four with three shaded and two thirds. So this one has four and this one has four. So it's not D, that's not the one that matches number two. This one has three and this one has three. So of the three, I'm looking for two shaded. This one only has one, so it's not I. So let's look. I have three fourths, one, two, three, four, three are shaded. Times, I have my rows of one, two, three, and two are shaded. So three fourths times two thirds, this matches number two. So number two is E. I hope that this was helpful. Good luck, Bearcats.